I am so excited to announce the 2020 Energy Intensive with me, Crystal Ann Compton, and my partner, Trisha Carr. The Energy Intensive is an eight-week comprehensive program that teaches and activates energy healing modalities. This program is unique. It is brand new and it's cutting edge. It's also perfect for anyone interested in healing and in energy and in particular for intuitive people, for metaphysical seekers and for spiritual practitioners. To learn more about the 2020 Energy Intensive, click the link in the description box below. Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. Welcome to today's video. We've got a special video because we're going to be doing an intuitive reading around money. And I think this is a great reading because I know for a fact that so many of us have fears and anxieties and almost some OCD type relationships with money. And we try to manifest it and we can't manifest it. We can't create it. And we think there's something wrong with us, or we just think that money's not meant for us. And so for us, we have a really complicated relationship with money. And maybe deep down, we have some beliefs around money that limit us and keep us from actually making any money or holding on to our money. Money is like a big deal. Before we actually get to the reading, I just want everybody to be really clear about one thing, and that is that there is nothing wrong with money, y'all. Money is good. In fact, let's say it together. I like money. Say it again. I like money and I am a money magnet. Say that too. I am a money magnet. Money flows easily and naturally to me. Say that. Money flows easily and naturally to me. Yes, let that feel good inside of you. Let that vibration of loving money live inside of you. Because if we don't love money, if we're afraid of money, if we're afraid of losing money, if we're worried about being inadequate with money, then we are going to repel money and we don't want to do that. I have often heard people say that money is the root of all evil. And I always just want to tell them, hey, did you know that you're totally misquoting that scripture? And Jesus never said that money was the root of all evil. Jesus said the love of money is the root of all evil. Just as the love of power would be the root of evil. And the love of war would be the root of evil. It's an inordinate or an excessive attachment to needing money. That's the problem, not money. Money is just energy. Money is entirely neutral. And in fact, money is a tool meant to service its master. And you are its master. Let me remind you that the consciousness having the experience, the experience being life, is the consciousness in control of that experience, period. And you are the consciousness having this life experience. You're in control of it. You are the master of it. And money is your tool meant to service you. I like money. Say it again. I like money. Money flows to me easily and naturally. It's good. It's a tool. It opens doors. It also allows us to close some doors. It gives us access to things like information and energy and understanding and systems. It enriches if we don't abuse it by needing it too much or using it as a weapon or chasing it. So let's get real clear about money. Okay, money, nothing wrong with it. In fact, let's have some more of it. This reading, though, is for those of you who want to attract more money or maybe you have money. Maybe you have a facility with money. You're good with it, but you just want to make sure that you know how to keep making money or you know how to hold on to your money or you want to know the key to growing your fortunes. Again, nothing wrong with that. Or maybe you're just in the dark. Maybe you're like so many other people who have tried vision boards and manifestation techniques and modalities to get you some money, but it hasn't worked. And you want to know why. Or maybe you just want to know when. Cool. That's what this reading today is about. And here's how it's going to work. I'm going to show you three different cards, one at a time. And it's going to be your job or your responsibility to choose which card contains your message. I can't do that for you. 
Only you can do that for you. And you may ask, well, how do I choose a card? And I say to you, well, you're going to have to examine yourself, man. As you're looking at the cards, you're going to have to be looking at your psychic mainframe, which is another way of saying your intuitive abilities, what's happening as you're viewing and connecting with the card. Some of you will have a clairsentient response, which is to say you'll feel something in the emotions or in the physical body, maybe in the area of your abdomen, your heart, or your head, which by the way, contain portals connecting to great wisdom and intuition. If you feel a vibration or an energy or a magnetic pool in these areas or anywhere in the body, that is a clairsentient response. Others are just going to spontaneously know, hey, card number two, that's my card. I don't know why, but I know it's for me. Or card number one, that's my card. That is claircognizance, the ability to just know something without knowing why you know that thing. Still, others might hear something, maybe a frequency or a tone or an inner word saying, it's card number one, it's card number three. That, my friend, is clairaudience. And then we have you clairvoyance out there. You're always seeing something, maybe your eyes open or in your mind's eye. Maybe you'll see a number one, number two, number three, or a symbol, or maybe with your eyes open, you'll see a flash of light. That is your clairvoyant indication that that is your card. It is up to you to monitor how your intuition is communicating to you. And I love doing these readings because it allows us to connect with how our system works. And it also allows us to see that we can trust our intuition, and you can. And we can trust spirit, and we can. Last but not least, before I even got up on this video, I spent time with spirit going over these cards and selecting the three cards which contain the messages for today. So it's not just me randomly pulling cards. No, we thoughtfully and prayerfully selected these cards. These contain your message. It doesn't matter whether you're watching this five years from now. I dare say spirit loves to reach out outside of time and space and get a message to you. All you have to do is open your heart. Believe that it's possible and that it's happening and you will receive your message today. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Did I explain what card deck we're using? Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Great, great deck. Lovely art. Great guidebook. But I love it because these cards for me tend to always be accurate in spreads. The Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Let us begin. Starting with card number one. Card number one. Is this your card? Next, we have card number two. Card number two. Is this your card? Last but not least, we have card number three. That's right. Card number three. Is this your card? Quickly, showing you the cards one last time. Card number one. Card number two. And. Card number three. What I'd like you to do now is drop down into the comments and let me know which card you selected. We do this before I actually reveal the meaning of the cards. This is your opportunity to step out in faith and say, yep, I felt something. I heard that inner voice or I felt something in my physical body and I'm trusting it. And so this is my card number. This is my message. I'm claiming it. Drop down into the comments. You can pause it if you want to. And when you're done, come back as now we will be revealing each card, starting with card number one. Card number one is passion ignited. Passion ignited. If you are receiving this message, it is because spirit wants you to know that your money, your prosperity, and your abundance is connected to that 
which lights you up, to that which turns you on, to that which makes you creative and passionate. All of these are just words that indicate high vibration. Your vibration, therefore, is the key to your abundance. Now, this may mean that doing your creative thing, whatever that means for you, maybe you're a writer or maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a singer, maybe you're an inspirer, doing that thing for you is the key to making your money. Or it could simply mean that living a high vibration life and being in a space of joy and excitement and merriment and happiness is the key to opening up or liberating the energy of money in your life. One key thing to note about this card is the number one at the top. The number one numerologically is quite significant. One tends to be the number of new beginnings, new creative energy, new projects, new people, new opportunities. And these are tied to your vibration. They're tied to your passion. So maybe you are presently in a job that you can't say that you love. Maybe it doesn't turn you on. The question is, what does turn you on? If you had your dream job, what would that be? If you could spend your day doing things, what would those things be? Figure out what that means for you and then do them more to the best of your ability because when you get high vibe, when you get passionate and excited, that's when money is going to flow to you or it's the key to allowing money to continue to flow to you. Card number one, passion ignited. Moving on now to card number two. For those of you who selected card number two, you selected an interesting card. This is the card of shadow. Shadow. And when we see this, what spirit is saying to us is that opening up abundance and prosperity or reaching new heights of money and finances is intimately connected to us releasing patterns, belief systems, limitations within ourselves. Now, this could be pain that we're holding on to, and maybe we've been holding on to, and we just haven't wanted to face it. Well, our inability to deal with this pain or this problem is causing us to be stuck in our finances or to keep our finances from opening more fully to us. When we see this card, spirit is telling us to do our work. If you've ever taken a class of mine, you know that one of the first things I say to you if, is if you want anything, really, if you want to be psychic, if you want to be intuitive, if you want to be a channel, if you want to be a healer, if you want to be an entrepreneur, deal with your stuff because it's those inner limitations, those fears and anxieties that we're harboring that are actually taking up space in our life. And until we root them out and clear them out, spirit doesn't have the space to come in and occupy and bring that light. And so if you selected card number two, spirit is asking you to do that work. Examine yourself. Look for where you might have those inner narratives, those moods, those beliefs, those limitations that are keeping you stuck in patterns. Now is the time to bring the light into those and to clear them. That is the key to opening yourself up to prosperity and money, 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 money. One last thing I want to mention about shadow is the number at the top, 18. When you combine those two numbers, one plus eight, you get the number nine. And nine is also numerologically significant as it indicates closure, the ending of cycles. We need to end cycles before we can begin a new one or start a new chapter, or, or heck, start a new book entirely. And in order for you to start your new chapter in money and in abundance, you're going to have to bring some closure to those things that need clearing. All right, last but not least, for those of you who selected card number three, you selected Prosperity Begins. And here again, we have another one right at the top of that card. 
reminding you that one is new energy, new beginnings, the start of something brand new. You have right now in your life the raw materials for prosperity. You might be just at the beginning of it, but it is coming in. Maybe you're starting a new project. Maybe you're considering building something new. Maybe you're wondering if the path that you've taken is the right one. This card tells you that prosperity is beginning and that success, therefore, is assured. You're on the right path. You're doing the right things. You are knowing in the right way and you are doing in the right way. Now, when we see this card, this doesn't necessarily mean we have all the money or that our bank account is where we want it to be, but we can be assured that it's going to be. It's coming in. We are moving and operating in the energy of prosperity. Prosperity begins, and it begins now. Card number three. Once again, very quickly, card number one, passion ignited. Your money is tied to your vibration, and don't you forget it. Card number two is shadow. Don't feel bad about this card. It's such an important one. And so many of us are here. We have got to close those chapters. We have got to clear those patterns in order to bring in the new energy. So do your work. Last but not least, prosperity begins. You are already in prime position to succeed and to be abundant. It's happening right now. And there you have it. Our three card oracle card reading around money. And let me close just as I began by reminding you that there's nothing wrong with money. I like money. Say it with me. I like money. Money flows to me naturally. I am a magnet for money. I have love for money. I don't have an inordinate need for money. I am the master of my tools. I am the master of the tool of money. And until next time, I hope you know that I, Crystal Ann Compton, just another person on the internet, have nothing but love, E.T., phone home for you. Bye, guys.